Adams with Sam. Today we're going to be making pulled pork burgers using jack fruit. Now I'm going to be answering the age old question. Are vegan substitutes for meat just as good as meat? No. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Buongiorno, today we're going to be making our jackfruit burger. We're going to start off by cutting up this cabbage because Satan says so. Now we're going to just dump it all in the bowl right there into the bowl. Next we're going to cut these bell peppers into long thin slices while continuing to ignore the poorly executed nail polish on my fingernails. Egregiously toss them in the bowl. Next we're going to chop up some onions and let me tell you this, you are never too manly to cry like a bitch when cutting onions. Power through cutting those onions while you ponder the existential dread that's eating you up inside, and make sure you cut them into small little chunks. Tabarnak, put it in the bowl! Gently kiss your garlic to make it feel loved before you mercilessly chop it up into little bits and pieces. Mince that garlic nice and well. Now it's time to chop up the ingredients that's going to add fire to your dish and your butthole. Mince those fuckers really well. Life hack time! Hey guys, are you ever very, very tired but too much of a lazy piece of shit to make yourself or go and buy a coffee? Have I got a solution for you! Instant coffee mix. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your instant... <laughs> you're going to open up your instant coffee mix. You want to take a nice little spoon of that instant coffee, and you're just going to just get down here. You're gonna... And yeah, now you've got a perfect little pick of energy. Uh... Now, as I was saying, oh, that gives you a perfect little kick of energy to get you through the rest of your day. This has been Life Hacks with Sam. See you guys on the, on the flippity flip. Now we're gonna double down on the asshole torture by cutting up some pickled peppers, which will add a nice little kick and a good little contrast to the sweet and savory barbecue sauce. Now you're gonna drop that garlic into the oiled pan and let that bitch sizzle. Toss in your vegetables and flip them around so people can validate your existence on the internet. Next, we're gonna put in some of that jerk sauce that I brought from Jamaica because I'm a bougie-ass bitch. Mix it all together to get those flavors equally balanced around the board, and we're gonna add in a bit of lemon juice. Prepare your skillet with oil and the remaining green peppers and garlic, and toss in the jackfruit that's been marinating in barbecue sauce overnight. More jerk-off sauce for the jack-off fruit. Since the jackfruit's been marinating overnight, we're gonna just add only half a teaspoon of the jerk sauce and let those flavors really combine nice together. Mix it all together and make sure to thin out any thick remaining pieces of jackfruit with your spatula. Add the jackfruit to an oven safe dish and put it on broil for 5 minutes. In the meantime, we'll prepare our buns and get them nice and buttery and nice and toasted up on a flat pan. Add that golden buttery bun to the plate, and now you're going to take your jackfruit out of the oven and put a nice thick layer on top of that bun. And in case you were wondering, that is precisely what she said. Oh, would you look at that roast! Top that jackfruit with about a tablespoon of cabbage. And then we're going to add three thinly sliced peppers to the top of the burger. <laughs> now, of course, you could add as many as you want, but this is my show, you piece of shit. Finally, we're going to add a tablespoon of those chopped up pickled peppers, and we're going to add the nice, warm, toasty buttered bun. Our jerk jackfruit barbecue pulled pork sandwich. We're gonna give it a bite and let you know what we think. Mm hmm. Oh, in the back! Woo! Thank you.
you guys for watching this video. This pulled pork burger was amazing to make. And let me tell you, jackfruit is a very, very, very good replacement for pork because it comes nice and stringy and it really soaks up the flavor of that barbecue sauce and the jerk. Let me know what you guys want me to make next in the comments below. This has been, this has been cooking with conundrums with Sam. And there's another conundrum right there. Peace out till next time. Bye.